Hey team, so today we're gonna to talk about a really cool plan that you can use to enhance a person who is on extra help to enhance their PPO plan if they wanna go with Humana, okay? So let's start with talking about Humana's PPO plan that they have right now in most of the state. It's the 9070 uh, 006 plan. Um, now, the, this plan is a little different depending on which area you're working, but it's pretty similar uh, overall. And this is their zero premium PPO. Now, with this plan, a couple of things to note. It's got a $10 primary care copay. It's got a $50 specialist copay. The hospitalization on it, at least in the eastern part of the state, is $275 a day for eight days. And then it has a maximum out of pocket in network of $5,900, and out of network maximum out of pocket of $10,000. Okay? It has very limited, in my opinion, very limited dental uh, and vision. They did beef up the dental benefits a little bit. I think there's a maximum of $1,000 a year for it now, which is way better than what it was. But overall, uh, it, it's mainly. It's the type of plan that you're not really buying for the extra benefits. You're buying it for network, for you know a lower cost of getting um, the things that you need. So in the past, I have put most of my customers um, who have not been on Medicaid, so if they're not a dual eligible, and I've put them with Humana, this has been the plan I've put them on. Um, however, I think I've been missing the boat for my full extra help customers, which is a pretty high percentage, I think, of my business, because Humana has another plan that is built 100% really for that customer, and it can save them money, and it can save them, it can make it make a safer plan for them long term. So I want to introduce to you a plan that we've had. I just haven't been selling it because I didn't pay attention to what it really was, and that is the Humana H. 5216-230 plan, okay? This is a PPO plan that is built for someone that is on 100% extra help. Let me show you what I mean. So most of the time, we get caught up looking for plans that are zero premium. So when we're doing our plan shopping, especially if we're using Medicare.gov and we're just doing a general search, then we see this premium here, and then we have seven, eight companies that are offering this premium, and then we start getting into companies that are offer, you know, have a $19 premium or $27 premium, and really, we don't even look at those companies because we're fixated on this, which is rightfully so, because we don't want our customers to have to pay more than what they need to be paying anyway, so zero premium is fine with me, but we're missing one. We're missing one, and we're missing a very important part of Medicare Advantage premium pricing. So there are two sides to every Medicare Advantage plan. Okay, you have your, your Medicare side, so your MA, and then you have your drug side, your PDP. Okay, so when you combine them, you get MAPD, um, and the premium that's assessed to these plans can go to one side or the other or some of both. For example, the first plan I ever saw from Humana when I started in the business, I believe had a $43 a month premium on the medical side and maybe a $34 a month premium or something close to it on the drug side. So if I had someone that was full extra help, then this part pretty much was a zero. They didn't owe anything over here because their extra help covers like close to 30, 31 bucks um, towards a drug plan premium. So those customers were paying $43. So if I walked into a house and someone told me that they were paying $43 a month to Humana, I knew they were full extra help and that the $43 was going towards the Medicare Advantage side of their plan, okay? So that is how those plans work, and the premiums can be on one or both sides of the plan when there is a premium. Obviously, we, we love to see it when it's zero premium on both sides, but that is not always the case. And normally, if you're gonna see a small premium on these Medicare Advantage plans, normally it's gonna be over here on the prescription drug side, and any premium 
that is on the drug side, by the way, Medicare.gov will show you. If you look at the plan, it'll show you if there's a premium, it'll show you which side it's, uh, it's connected to. So if you see a premium over here of $30 or less, just know that if someone is on full extra help, it wipes that out. And now this is a zero premium plan because extra help covers up to about 30 bucks on a drug premium. Okay. So here's what I've been missing out. Humana has this, this H5216-230 plan, okay? That's the plan number on it. Has a $29 premium. And it's all on the drug side. Meaning for my extra help customer, if they're 100% extra help, okay? For my, my LIS customers, this is a zero premium plan. It's a PPO plan with zero premium, has some pretty awesome benefits to it, such as it has a, it has a $0 PCP copay, it has a $30 specialist copay, hospitalization is $295, but it's only for five nights instead of eight nights, and then it has a moot of in-network of $4,900. So if you're looking at a plan, if you're looking for a plan for someone that's on full extra help and all of the doctors match up well in network, they're not looking to get out of network, this is an awesome plan. It's literally one of the very best PPO plans that we've got. Um, and there are a lot of people out there that really, really like Humana. Um, now I know there's some out there that don't like Humana, just like any other company, but you have some people that you're gonna go in there and you're gonna think that you're gonna be able to switch them to another company and maybe what you really need to be looking at doing is just switching them to another plan with the same company. So for example, if you walk in and you see someone that's full extra help and they are on this 907006 plan and this um, 5216230 plan is available, you don't have to switch their companies if they're happy with Humana. You can just switch them to an enhanced plan with Humana. So you don't have to worry about trying to sell them a United Healthcare PPO when this one here is just as good as the United Healthcare one in network. Let me give you an example. So the United Healthcare has a deduct has a maximum of 4900 in the Tulsa market. It has a zero copay for for primary care. It has a $40 copay for specialists compared to 30 here. And then the hospitalization is 295 for uh, five days. So this is basically a wash. This plan for someone that's 100% extra help, just on the medical benefits, is a, basically a wash with the new United Healthcare plan. Matter of fact, the specialist copay is even cheaper over here. And they're both zero premium plans for someone that is on full extra help. Okay. And so when you compare this plan to the one that we've been We've been selling this 006 plan through Humana. You know, you're talking $10 primary care copay. You're talking $50 specialist. You're talking $275 a night for eight nights for hospitalization. And you see it, there's a $5,900 move. So when you are out in the field, whether it's your customer or you come across someone that says, hey, I already have Humana, you need to look to make sure that they have the right Humana plan because if someone's full extra help, this is the right plan. The rest of these two plans are very similar. There might be a five or $10 difference on one copay on one plan, and then it's cheaper on the other, and then vice versa, and it goes back and forth. Not enough to make a decision off of. If you're gonna make a decision on two similar plans, these are the areas you need to make the decision on most of the time. It is the daily use of the plan. So primary care, specialist, hospitalization, and then MOOP. That's what, those are the decision makers on plans. Not is an MRI $10 more with one plan compared to another plan. Those are very uncommon. So you wouldn't want to base your decision on something that is very, very uncommon. But these are more common and more likely, okay? So as you're comparing them, note that the they both offer dental vision hearing and over-the-counter benefits. 
The benefits on the 006 plan on the dental side work a little different. On a lot of the services on the 006, and if you have your summary benefits, you'll see what I'm talking about. They break it down by copay. So it's $25 copay for this, $35 copay for that on the dental side of things. The vision is the same on both plans. Um, the over the counter is slightly higher on the 006 than this one. But on this plan on the dental side, they go on a percentage, okay? So it might, it's, it looks like to me, for most things, it's a 70 30. Human, meaning Humana will pay 70% of, the, of most of the things it covers on dental, and the customer pays 30%. I don't know how that would equate to the copay structure over here on the 006, but I do know this. The 006 plan has a maximum dental benefit for the year of 1000 bucks. This plan, the 5216-230, actually has a $2,000 maximum benefit on dental. Those are really the only differences it, it is, you know, most things are very similar. As I was going through the summary benefits, it was almost like uh, once I got past these first things here, it was like the 006 would be cheaper for, for one thing, and then the very next thing, the, the, the 230 plan would be cheaper, and then the 006, and then the 230. It was almost like they did it on purpose, um, the way that they priced these out. But anyway, so if you're selling the LIS folks that love Humana or are already on a plan with Humana and you're wondering how do I switch them, right here it is. This is an opportunity for you to make a lot of money um, switching people that are already on Humana but they're on the wrong plan with a, the wrong agent because if they're not with you, they're the wrong agent. So you can switch them here. You become the agent of record. It is not the same plan, so you will get credit for switching them. It's a very different plan. And now they'll be yours. And now I also understand why in some of my situations, and I had this come up today, this is why I looked at this plan. I had a customer in McCurtain County, Oklahoma, that I noticed was inactive in my Humana portal. I was looking at it going, what other, it says preferred another plan. And I was like, there was no other plans in McCurtain County. Hmm. There wasn't any other zero premium plans, but, it, but when I was at his house, I did an extra help application. He got full extra help because of the application I did. And in September, somebody moved him from this plan to this plan. So, if someone did that to me, and it was the right thing for them to do, I was just too dumb to, to see um, what I should have done for him. So if someone did it to me, then there's a good chance that I'd have the opportunity to go find other customers in the same, same boat and switch them to the right plan because I did not know this about this plan. I didn't pay enough attention. Um, so maybe some of you have, but I definitely didn't. So now, when I'm talking extra help, I'm talking about this plan. Hope this helps. Hope it helps you make some sales and, and maybe even keep some of your business from switching away from you. Throw this plan at them.